Alright, welcome back to part 4 of my tutorial on making this spider. Now, in the last one we made sure that we uh, uh, coloured the texture, the colour texture for this uh, spider. Um, and at the end of the video I just reminded you that we need to save uh, the image so that the image is actually saved as a, partic as a PNG. Now, mines are all in the same folder as the spider, and that's really important because when we export this into Unity, we're going to be able to, we're going to have to drag them all in the same place. So the uh, last thing that I did as well was just making sure that this um, this object um, was made was smooth shaded. So if you select the object in object mode, and just say shade smooth, and it and it looks a lot nicer. Um, and I still have, yeah, I'm going to just go back to texture paint, and I still have the. Uh, subdivision surface modifier on um, so that without it it's still you can see all the colors but with it you start to see the smooth uh, it smooths out a little bit now in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to um, paint on some detail as well um, in the past and I, I skipped this in my tutorial series in the past you would have sculpted um, now the texture painting allows us uh, if you've got reasonably good uh, topology of this model um, it saves us doing the sculpting step because if you do sculpt it then you often change the shape of it and then you have to re remake the mesh it's called retopologizing and uh, if you do sculpt from the start then you're forced to do that but the way we're doing it we're going to just um, be able to add in some detail and um, some bumps with uh, a texture so uh, I'm in texture paint mode um, I only have the one base color um, just now and if you just go up to the the, the draw tab here the um, the main one with the spanner and the screwdriver you'll see that we've only created the one base color texture but what we can do is uh, we can add in some extra ones so we can have uh, the specular roughness metallic or normal um, and the and the bump so we're going to start with the bump because we're going to use this to turn this into a normal map that we can use inside of unity and um, we could also and I may do this in another tutorial, we could also uh, use either the metallic or the specular. Um, in Unity 3D there is two different workflows, um, metallic or specular, and we can use either one of those to get um, different parts of the object to be more metallic or less metallic based on the colour, and I may show that in a later one, but we're just going to add some bumps in just now just to make it look a little bit cooler. So. Um, uh, just a disclaimer, um, as I mentioned before, I'm not an artist, so this may not look great, but at least you'll know how. So what we need another is another texture. So if you hit the plus here um, and then change to bump, uh, it'll ask you for the width and height again, and uh, it gives you like the base gray color. Uh, I'm going to actually make this a little bit more detailed, so I'm going to just uh, make this 2048. Um, that's basically double what it was. So if you just type in times two, you'll get double two o four eight, and we'll just hit OK. Um, it changes by default to this. If you were to view it inside of Eevee, you would see that the uh, bump map has been set up, and because there's no bumps in it, we can't actually see them. So uh, well, I'll, I will. What I'll do is I'll just leave it on this one just now, so that we can see, and then we'll get on with uh, with painting this. So what we do um, on the left hand side here is we still have this object selected, we're in texture draw and we're going to change the drop down here to the bump map that we just worked on. Um, this has not been saved as an image so you need to make sure that you save it as an image. So I'm just going to click on image and I'm going to click save. If it hasn't been saved already it will give it its default name and it will be in the same location as the last one. So um, mines are all called spider material and I've got uh, the base color and the bump should be in this one, uh, the same location. So I'm going to make sure that they're all saved in the right place. Um, there it is. So spider material and bump, and click save as image. So I have the two, the two um, textures in there. So the way that the bump works is that the the um, the more white it is, the higher the bump, and the darker it is, the lower the bump. So uh, what we can do is we can just change this straight up uh, to white. So we'll put it right in the middle, um, all the way up. Oops, if we do this in the RGB anyway, it will be all the way up. So we've got pure white, which means it will be the highest point. We're still on mix, 
I'm going to put the strength quite low um, and I'm just going to go in and try and create some uh, detail around the outside here now I'm adding in just a sort of brief small amount of colour and you see the white um, if you change this to the um, the look dev or EV you'll see that you actually what you're doing because it's set up already as a bump map um, you actually get to see the, the bumps um, getting made so I'm just going to control Z with that and just make this brush a little bit smaller and um, I'm also going to just um, take that strength down a little bit because I really want very little effect to be made so I'm just going to kind of drag in and create a little bit of the some lines across this so add a little bit of detail to it okay even lower and what I might do is just take this down to a light grey as well and then we can see that the, the effect is a bit less um, so I'm just going to add in a little bit more. I'm going to pause this. We now know we now know how to do this. Oops, put on look dev. We now know how to do this. Um, so it's all like all really is just a case of adding in some uh, some of these. I'm going to give it what it looks like a slightly hairy body. Now there's different ways to do this. There's brushes that you can get within Blender that you'll be able to use um, to add uh, either as a stencil or to add in a, in, a, in a larger area. So you could. Um, yeah, there's lots of tutorials on YouTube that you can see, but I'm just going to just add this basic sort of uh, hair look across the spider, and uh, and I'll see you when I'm finished. All right, so I went round the whole object, um, left the legs alone for now, and just added a little bit of uh, just some scrapes and stripes across the top, make it look a little bumpy, and uh, a few a few. Uh, of these uh, little marks down the front uh, front leg. Um, now it looks pretty good uh, and you're fairly happy with this in it and the great news is that this this detail doesn't detract at all from the mesh. The mesh is still exactly the same, all, all this is is the detail that's um, inside the texture right now. So uh, do not forget you must save the texture so we click file and save and, um, and we're done. So the, the, the model looks pretty good. Um, we're gonna probably do the export into Unity so we can see what it looks like before we do the rigging but uh, upcoming videos will be um, importing this into Unity and converting the um, current height map that we have here into a, into a normal map and uh, making it look awesome and then um, and then we'll rig and animate this thing and get it uh, walking around and attacking so I um, hope you're enjoying the video series and uh, we'll see you again soon <laughs>